Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and I'm running for Prime Minister of Canada. But I'm not registered in the Brant riding. What's going on? I did an interview with CKNW in Vancouver, where they wanted to know why I wasn't running. And early as it was leading up to the show, they said it seems I've given up on it, and I'm not going to run anymore. Boy, have they got it wrong. Good morning, and it's 74. Not that I'm particularly proud of losing 73. So the host of the CKNW show in Vancouver is Philip Till, and he was focused on laughing at me as a loser. Well, I was the teaching assistant of the mathematics of gambling course, and I'm a professional poker player, and I write, wrote the book, Play Hold Them Poker Like a Bookie, so it's kind of funny that a professional winner like me in gambling would get a reputation as a loser in politics, isn't it? So, Philip Till wanted to know what it was about my program that people kept rejecting. I'm trying to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer with the LET software that was developed in British Columbia. The Green Dollar Barter software, the Time Bank software. I want you to be able to log on to the Bank of Canada's computer like PayPal. And that way you open an account. Now you can pledge your time as well as your visa. And then you can pay it back in cash or in time. So he said, no wonder no one ever voted for me. Ah, well, if you don't want interest-free loans, which of us is the loser? Anyway, the point is you can still vote for me for prime minister. How did Bible Bill Eberhardt get elected premier of Alberta when his social credit party swept during the Depression and he wasn't a candidate? Well, I decided to do the same thing. I've organized the dream team I've gone across all the political parties who've supported interest-free money in the past, and I've decided I am going to suggest you vote for this green team who are going to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer and legalize marijuana to protect you from all the cancers from the nuclear radiation hitting BC right now. Hey, is your milk blowing in the dark yet? Of course, an oldster like him, he doesn't know about marijuana killing cancer. He's certainly not up to date on the issues of importance to the youth. Well, put it this way, what else have you got to take for the cancers that are on the way? You know, Health Canada turned off the radiation detectors. Why do you think they did that? In San Francisco, it's 180 times too over the safety level. And in Vancouver, they're letting kids and pregnant women go play outside in the nuclear rain. Come on now, why would Health Canada turn off the fallout detectors unless it's a catastrophe? He joked that that's what we'd get if we had Prime Minister John Turmel. Well, yes, if you vote for, if, if you vote for my dream team. No, old Stir wasn't interested in how I was going to do it. Well, let's hope my dream team pulls it off. So, oldster broadcaster Philip Till at CKNW wanted to make fun of me, and it fell back on him. So now let's see what explanation investigative reporter Philip Till did not get out of me. I was going to refer him to my video, Big Lie of Low-Level Radiation Being Harmless. I was going to explain how low-level radiation that gets inside you is far more dangerous than a big clump of radiation that's outside and away from you that will fry you and causes more cancers when it gets inside you. For oldsters like him, my message would be duck and cover now. They all know what duck and cover means from the old 1950s and 60s nuclear radiation explosion drills they used to give to us kids. Get under a desk, duck and cover. Yeah, well, now's the time to duck and cover, sir. But he wasn't interested in that. You can't believe the Japanese executive sitting there eating the tomato when right beside him you got a Japanese engineer who's crying because he knows he's turned his country into a cemetery. Bad luck that Canada has just had a whole bunch of rain for the last three, four days. Instead of the radiation clouds sweeping over us to land in Europe, it had to rain and come down on us now. So I figure by next week, the milk in Ontario is going to be glowing in the dark too. He never did get to find out why I wasn't really running. And I was going to tell the story of William Eberhardt and how his group, social credit 
swept to power in Alberta in one election from no people to a majority, 90% of the vote in one election. And he wasn't even a candidate. It's the same deal here. I have picked up a list of candidates from across the country, small party candidates, independent candidates, mainly parties who've supported Let's in the past. And I'm saying, this is the dream team that I advise you to vote for. And if they get in, then you get John the Engineer Termel to lead them. Just like Eberhardt stayed outside the election, said vote for the social credit team, you get me. Well, you vote for John the Engineer's dream team, you get me. Way back in 1980s, the Green Party endorsed the LED system right on their program. But since then, it's been taken off, and none of the leadership talk about it anymore. None of the candidates know anything about it. They'll be last resort. But in 1988, the leader of the Christian Heritage Party supported the LED system with me and endorsed it. And they got 40-some candidates across the country. And in 1997, I got five parties to endorse the Canada Let's, including the Marxist-Leninists. And they got 70 candidates across the country. And these guys hate the bankers more than I do. I want to reprogram the banking system. They want to string them up. Anyway, Marxist-Leninist, I can count on them. They're going to let me reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to operate like an interest-free PayPal. Who else? The Canada Action Party. They're based on money reform. Former Socreds, most of them. They're, I, they can be trusted to let me reprogram the bank's computer to go interest-free. The Libertarians. Many Libertarians. I even wanted to found the old Libertarian Party, bring it back into life. So there's a lot of Letzers and Let's supporters in the Libertarian Party. Even the Rhino Party. Rhino? The Jokers? Yeah! Back in the 1979 and 80 election when they were really big across the country making fun of the other parties who had no answers. Well, in 1981, a Rhino candidate came and ran with me for Social Credit Party of Ontario, Dale Alkerton. So, just because they're making fun of the other losers who have no answers, doesn't mean that they're losers who can't catch on. So as a lot, another resort, I'll pick a rhino before I'll pick a conservative or a liberal or a block or a Tory. So, basically, I've organized 270 candidates that I'm going to recommend on my dream team. A lot of Marxists, Leninists, a lot of Libertarians. Libertarians and Marxist Leninists, that's like ultra left, ultra right. What's going on here? What could bring them all together? Interest free let's banking brought them all together, and I can recommend them all. So I'm going to start by having that list. You'll see lots of Marxist Leninists, lots of Libertarians, lots of Canada Action Parties, some Rhinos, Christian Heritage. And finally, running up the rear, I'll bet that the Green Party candidates will be easier to convince that they should let me reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer with the Let's Green Dollar software, which had been started by a member of the Green Party in 1984 before they took it off their program. And so that leaves almost no ridings uncovered where you'll be able to vote for a candidate who, if they all get in, will let me reprogram the bank's computers and legalize marijuana, which is going to kill the cancers that we're all going to get from the radioactive materials that have come down. Now, my last video was take cover. Canada turns off fallout detectors or they're blown. Well, it's worse, okay? It's gotten worse. They say it's going to last years now of leaking radioactivity and we're downwind. And like I told them, how can, you think he wanted to get people in Vancouver upset at finding out that they weren't warning people to stay indoors like people in California were being warned to stay indoors? So you watch all the miscarriages and all the deformed babies coming out in, El, in Vancouver next year and you'll be able to thank Philip Till for not warning them to get out of the radiation. That's why I'm not running in this election. Besides... I got a guy in my Brent riding 
who I heard at another meeting was good-mouthing me, saying John Turmel's right about the interest-free Bank of Canada, Leslie Borey. So I don't need to run in Brantford. I got a guy I can trust who's going to let me reprogram the bank's computers to give us interest-free loans and then mass-produce marijuana to give it free so we fight off our cancers and turn on the fallout detectors so we know how bad it really is. I'm asking you out there to go to my list, johntermell.com slash dreamteam.htm and find the candidate in your riding. And if you don't like Marxist-Leninists, I don't care. They're not bad people. Matter of fact, they hate the banks and that's good by me. You don't like libertarians? I don't care. They'll do let's and they'll save us. You don't like Canada action? You don't like rhinos? If they're the only guy in your riding, other than the big four TV parties you know aren't going to do anything, well, then you have to vote for them. And if we can pull off a sweep in the next two weeks, like Bible Bill Eberhardt pulled off a sweep in Alberta by running a slate of candidates and just talking them up, well, I'm going to do the same thing. These are the candidates I'm going to recommend. JohnTermel.com slash dreamteam.htm and those are the people you should vote for because if they get in that maximizes your odds of surviving this incredible catastrophe that most low-tech people don't understand next time i see you i'm going to ask you hey why didn't you warn your family and friends think about that that's the question i got for you and my supporters and people who think this is some kind of a joke why didn't you warn your family and friends? Because when the horror becomes evident, then the guys who knew early and didn't do anything are going to be the guys with the guilt on their consciences. So you better warn your family and friends. Legalize marijuana. Start taking your baking soda. Urine therapy. B17. What can I say? I'm doing my best to try and keep you alive. And voting for John the Engineer's dream team is going to do that for you. So go do your homework, contact all your friends, spread the word, let the dream team go viral, or you're going to die, and you'll deserve to die. So that's it, kids. You can tell by the reaction of Philip Till, the old people, the dumbed-down generation, that they're just not going to get up to do anything. Now, of course, people my age, 50s, 60s, Hey, we've only got 20, 30 years to go. So chopping off 5, 10, 15 years, you know, ain't so, you know, well, yeah, it's scary, but it's not as terrible as you young people who are going to lose 50 and 60 years because of the catastrophe with the radiation. The older people are, the more they've been dumbed down. And so dumbed down that they don't believe there's anything that can be done, period. And they're not going to try they voted for the same team all their lives. They just think that it's a game of some sort. Have no idea your future is at stake. So I have to plead with the young people out there who haven't, haven't been dumbed down yet that with so much of your life at stake and with our generation polluting your planet so you're not going to be live on it, if you don't get involved, and if you don't make this movement for the engineer's dream team go viral so that every student is telling his parents, vote for the dream team or you're going to die earlier and so will we, then it's pretty hopeless. I have to pray that the youth can be mobilized into using their social media, their Facebook accounts to alert all their friends to wake up their parents to the horrible nightmare that's upon us and how the best odds of survival is going to be if John the Engineer, who understands what exponential means, while none of the lawyers in politics do, they're not warning people. They figure they're going to sue Japan without realizing it's going to be a cemetery. You can't get money out of a cemetery. So you vote for John the Engineer's dream team and you get John the Engineer. You've got two weeks to shake up your world, and that means voting for guys who've never been in before. Imagine a sweep just like in Alberta. All people who've never been in power before, never been corrupted by the money boys before. So if you guys, youth, don't get involved, well then, you deserve to die. I'm Johnny Engineer, praying that you guys wise up and wake up your parents.